Okay, grade ones, we're gonna read some more Ghost Town at Sundown. We left off with Jack and Annie. Um, they ended up at this ghost town. Then they found uh, cowboy boots and cowboy hat. And then they heard a piano playing and chapter three was called uh, Player Piano. So here we go. Uh, outside, the sad tune played on. It's coming from there, said Annie. She crept toward a building that had a sign with the word hotel on it. Annie slowly pushed open a swinging door and they peeked inside. The fading daylight lit a piano in the corner of the room. The keys were moving up and down, but no one was there. Hmm. Yikes, whispered Annie. A ghost playing the piano? Suddenly, the keys were still and the air got very cold. No, no way, said Jack. There's no such thing as a ghost. We saw one in ancient Egypt, whispered Annie. Yeah, but that was ancient Egypt, said Jack. Even so, his heart raced. I'll look it up. Jack pulled out the Wild West book. He found a picture of a piano and he read out loud. Player pianos were very popular in the Old West. The piano played automatically when someone pumped its floor pedals. Later, with the help of electricity, the piano played all by itself. Whew. Jack closed the book. I knew there was an answer, he said. It must be electric, and somehow it came on. I didn't know they had electricity in the Wild West, said Annie. They didn't, said Jack. He looked at Annie. Oh, man, let's get out of here, he said. Jack and Annie backed out of the hotel, and when they got outside, they heard another sound. Horse hooves thumping against the hard ground. A cloud of dust seemed to be moving towards the town. As it got closer, Jack saw three riders. <sighs> Excuse me. They were herding a small band of horses. Hi, Jack said. Where, said Annie. Jack looked around wildly. He saw two barrels outside the hotel. There, he said. Jack and Annie hurried to the empty barrels. Jack climbed inside one and tried to scrunch down. His hat wouldn't fit. He jumped out of the barrel and he threw his hat into the hotel. Mine too, said Annie. Jack grabbed hers and threw it too. Then he scrambled back into the barrel just in time. Jack heard the horses thunder into town. He peeked through the crack in the barrel, and he saw a blur of cowboys and houses go by. Whoa, whoa, the men shouted. Jack heard the horses come to a halt. They stamped and snorted. All he could see were shadows through the crack. Dust-covered Jack had to sneeze. He pinched his nose. The creek bed must have dried up, a cowboy yelled. This town's a ghost. Yep, gives me the shivers, said another. Let's camp over the rise. Jack really had to sneeze now. He pinched his nose tighter, but he couldn't stop the sneeze. He let out a choke. Ah, choo! What was that? Someone said. Just then, a loud whiny, a loud whinny split the air. Jack saw a beautiful horse, horse rear up. She had no rider or saddle, just a rope around her neck. She was red as a sunset. She had a wild black mane and a white star above her eyes. We can't keep fighting this one, boss, the cowboy yelled. Yep, she wants her colt, said another. We shouldn't have left him behind. There's a picture here. Uh, Jack and Annie are in the barrels, and here are the cowboys with the horses. He was too slow, a growly voice said. We'll just sell her when we get to cross the border. That's terrible, thought Jack. He knew Annie must be upset, too. He just hoped that she wouldn't jump out of her barrel. But the cowboys pulled the red horse away. The ground rang from pounding... Ay, ay, ay. Excuse me again. Um, the cowboys pulled the red horse away and the ground rang with the pounding of hooves as they galloped off. Jack and Annie stood up. They watched their riders disappear into the dust. The pounding faded away and all was quiet again, except for the lazy buzzing of flies. They were mean to that horse, said Annie, in a low, angry voice. I know, but there was nothing we could do, said Jack. His boots were killing him and he climbed out of the barrel. Man, I have to get these off, he said. Jack sat down on the porch of the hotel, and he grabbed a foot from the boot and pulled. Jack, said Annie, I think there is something we can do. What? Jack looked up. A small horse was running down the road. He was red as the wild mother horse. He had the same black mane and a white star above his eyes. A rope was around his neck, and he looked very lost. And that is the end of our chapter. Um, so for writing today, you have two options. You can choose one of these. You can write about what you think they're going to do with this um, horse, this uh, small horse that just came. So a small horse was running down the road. He was red with the wild mother horse, uh, red as the wild mother horse. He had the same black mane and a white star above his eyes. 
A rope was around his neck, and he looked very lost. Jack, said Annie, I think there is something we can do. So you could write about what you think Jack and Annie are going to do. Um, or you could write about, because the beginning was about a piano, you could write about what instrument you would like to learn uh, if you were going to learn an instrument. So that's two options. What are Jack and Annie going to do with the horse? Or if you could play an instrument, what would you want to play? And that's your writing for today.